Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Well, I'm Roy C. Booth, and I write. Okay, I guess I'm going to See, that, that, that's the one question I get asked all the time, and I don't have a pet answer for it anymore because there's so much stuff involved. So usually it's, it's I'm Roy C. Booth, I write books, plays, movies. What do you need? That's just keep it simple. Good. 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 You got some ideas for <laughs> What? You got some ideas for me? I, you know, tonight was uh, Odd Hat 2, uh, uh, produced by Greg Gassman. Uh, basically six different playwrights, such as myself, get together and we draw a hat at a location, an object, and how many actors and actresses we use. And tonight there were six of us that did that. And then tomorrow, Hopefully, by 8 o'clock a.m., we have all have our scripts written out by that time. And then six directors will pick which show they'll take, and then they'll pick the actual the cast and crew that they're going to use. Okay, all right, next, uh, Roy C. Booth. A nursing home. Perfect! <laughs> oh, I'm glad. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> nursing home. Okay. Object. A toy cow. <laughs> okay. You're everywhere. You guys just have to go to the nursing home. <laughs> Your first line. Did Bill... Bring the pizza. Oh. All right. So spicy. <laughs> Whoops. Two men and two women. All right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Put that there we go. Thank you. Well, the rest of the evening for me is a lot of water, a lot of time at the computer, and, and little sleep. Um, personally, for this one, I'm, I have to do, let me check here. I have to do a location, a nursing home, a toy cow, and my opening line is, did Bill bring the pizza? I've done script work in the past where, where you know, I had to get a scene done within you know, 15 minutes to two hours for film, so that, that to, for me that's nothing new in that regard. Except this time I'm shooting for 15 minutes worth with a beginning, a middle, and an end. So tonight, you know, I'll, I'll sit down, I'll get the play figured out. Um, probably the first thing I'll do is, is try to figure out what my plot points are, what my overall premise is, that sort of thing. And then I will probably write up an outline. We'll do from there. Uh, usually I use an outline when I do my writing, um, mostly for plays and for, for, the, um, for films. Uh, which, which helps because uh, now that I've get, uh, get to the point where I've got over 50 plays published, it you know, cuts down on my prep time and a lot of things like that also. Uh, matter of fact, I did a little prep time for this beforehand, just getting like, my basic outline set up and a few other things, and now I just have to go in and plug things in, so to speak. Out of the Hat was, was a good experience to find out if, if certain basic elements of the script worked or not. There's certain key elements that you can always pick out, you know, to see if you know, the plot worked or, or some of that subtext I was talking about works or not. So it was very you know, good for that. I know the actors enjoyed it. I know the audience enjoyed it. So in, in that respect, it, it's, it's always a very you know, strong plus. Yeah, I think everybody really in, enjoyed the production. The entire evening, the entire evening, the entire evening, was, evening. was a good thing. That I also put a lot of theatricalism in my plays. I, I like sound cues. I like different light angles. I like different, you know, things they, you can do they with decided, the physicality of the stage. They decided to run with it. They decided to run with it, and they wanted to do uh, incorporate a lot of the aspects into it instead of paring it down. Um, but it, it made for a, well, for well, a, well, a well, harder well, show to do, I the, think. The, the director himself said, Mike Reed, and said, you know, you know th there's a lot more show going on here for one rehearsal. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I, and I get that a lot. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Yeah. I know how it feels to get dropped off and abandoned here. <clears throat> it sucks. It really, really sucks. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, and I'd like to apologize to you, Mr. Butternuts. <laughs> well, I, I sold my first short story in uh, 1979 when I was 14. And I've basically been told, you know, I, I had some stuff published before, like when I was eight, you know, that sort of thing, you know, locally in school and whatnot. Uh, my first thing I ever wrote that I really remember having a full impact on people was a, uh, you, you know, when, when, when you're in school, they make you make those little books. My, my fellow classmates little books about, you know, four or eight pages about bunny rabbits and, and doggies and whatnot. Um, I, I did a 20-page opus on myself running around with a silver baseball bat, running around a haunted house, um, wailing on vampires, zombies, and werewolves. My, my mom still has it somewhere. Um, I, ironically, uh, my mom also got a call from, from, the, uh, <laughs> from the school about it. Um, but I noticed that my, my fellow classmates had a really strong reaction to it, so I started writing little cartoons and, you know, doing little skits and whatnot, and I, it just, just carried over through my later years. I noticed in the paper they had me down as, as, as a gothic horror guy, which, which I, I take great pride in, but I'm, I'm mostly known, well, for example, for, you know, for plays, I'm mostly known for children's plays in some respects. Um, some people, like down Twin Cities, know me as the as the, a science fiction fantasy writer. Uh, I know in, in England I'm, I'm known for a little bit for other things. So it, it, it goes all over the place. Uh, basically I consider myself a, uh, a speculative fiction writer, meaning I like to write uh, science fiction, fantasy, horror, um, weird westerns, I've done a few of those, uh, mysteries. I explained to someone a while back that uh, the genre appeals to me, or those genres, that uh, I like the, uh, the exploration of ideas. You know, I read a lot of Jules Verne when I was little, and it was interesting, you know, later on as an adult to find out, oh, he wrote about, you know, submarines before there were actually were real functional submarines like that, and, and you, know, you know, rockets to the moon and that sort of thing. But she passed it to go back to Cyrano de Bergerac, believe it or not was actually considered one of the first science fiction writers because he wrote about going to the moon and things like that. Um, so I, I always like the idea of, of it's a genre that, that you're not limited. There's, there's no limitations. Now you can say that into memoir writing or creative nonfiction if you had to, but I, I just like the idea you know, of, of exploring ideas and, and taking them to possible places that no one else has before. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.